Right, so then, Rob wanted me to do some more sort of EDC kits and things like this, which I carry in my backpack. Uh, so let's start off with this one, because it's probably easiest. So this is a little pouch I got off eBay, it's about 15 quid. Uh, in here we have a uh, lithium 20,000 uh, milliamp hour, so basically 2 amp hour power pack with a uh, digital readout that tells me the percentage of, that the battery is full. That is a big advantage, a big uh, upgrade compared to this one, which was uh, the old one I had, and it just has a light there, that's green, um, and then it goes a different colour when it's dying. Over here we have a 2 terabyte hard drive with USB cable, that's a Western Digital Passport. Over here we have an Ethernet cable, which is taking up two slots. Uh, a multi-use charger that has several different bits on. An old iPod charger, or maybe a really old Samsung one. A USB-C, a little mini one, and a mini USB. So that's all I've got in that one so far. And the company that makes them is BUBM, that's off of eBay. So, uh, in this next kit, we have another iPod cable. We have a Chinese fake iPod. We have the Frunight TI4, uh, that's two AA batteries. A pen, silver steel pen, and the Stanley screwdriver bit. In there we have another two terabyte hard drive. Uh, the USB cable for it, a USB SD card adapter, some headphones, or earphones you might call them, a retractable USB uh, lightning adapter uh, charger for an iPhone, we have a Samsung uh, mains to USB adapter, a USB uh, battery charger, have some energized double A's and triple A's, there's a double A with a USB thing on there, so that can be charged that way. And then there's just a cheap Chinese uh, AAA in there. That's an SD card reader. Um, that one in there was a, a redundancy because I forgot I had that one. But that one's more reliable because that's Anchor, which is a brand name. This is just a cheap Chinese random one. Uh, in here, in this pouch, is where I keep all my mini cables. Everything from audio cables, audio extension, in case my headphones are too short micro USB, uh, mini USB and USB-C all about 10 centimeters long. What is that about four, three, four inches, something like that for you Americans, if there are any of them watching. Um, so yeah, that's that. A large, whoops, a large USB light. I've yet to add Rob's little one in that he keeps sent me. And in here we have some adapters uh, this is micro USB to an old iPhone or an old Samsung and I have mini USB to uh, micro USB adapters just in case one of the cables fails. I need to get a uh, micro USB to mini USB. I need to get the opposite version of the one I've got, like the reverse one, so that I can do that. And the lightning one preferably, just for purely redundancy reasons. So yeah, that is my pouches for now. That's what I've got in them. I will be expanding these and updating them as and when I can. Anything I think I can add without adding too much weight or without making it too bulky. The Samsung mains to USB power pack really makes it kind of have a bump in it. Um, along with the hard drive obviously as well. Together they make it quite bulky and quite heavy so yeah just uh, things to think about when you've got to consider they're in your bag. If the part you really see it's a lot of weight, so if you can leave them in your vehicle, it's better. But then you don't have them with you. It depends how far you're going to go from your vehicle, doesn't it? So, Oops, just bouncing up. So yeah, so yeah, you can have them in your vehicle, or you can take them with you. It depends how much weight you want to carry. But yeah, that's just my kit so far. That's what I've set up so far. Um, I'm going to give you an update as and when I can to my bag and things like that that I've added to it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one.